The Spring Grove Lions got back into action last week. Close competitive game, and they pulled out a win over Mabel Canton. We're with head coach Cody Moore. And coach, even uh, before we break down the game itself, uh, how good did it feel to just have everybody back together uh, for the first time in a couple of weeks? Yeah, you know, I talked to you before the game, Darren, and I told you it seriously, it felt like a month since we played. It's crazy how that one week off and that crazy week of really not being able to get together with everybody. It was a tough situation. So I just, and I told the guys too, the fact that we were able to get out there, you just kind of got out there pregame and look around. It was a beautiful night. It was one of those things I told them like, this is why you got to enjoy every minute when you get to play, because we know from the week before what can happen. And and I thought that was, you know, kind of the nice part about it is we kind of got back to the basics of, hey, this is supposed to be fun. Like, and uh, so that was cool just to get back to, like you said, a little bit of normal. So as compared to uh, to uh, the week before, uh, that was definitely the case. Obviously, going to Mabel Canton, it's a close in game. Uh, you guys all know each other. Uh, the kids all know each other. Uh, it's always going to be a battle go- going there. And you ended up with a, a two point win. Was it pretty much the type of game you were expecting last Friday night? Yeah, I mean, it's it was the the battle of their power running game against our passing game is really what it came down to. Um, we know, like I told you last week, Carl Urbanic, he always does a great job. He gets everything out of his guys, and they executed really well up front, um, just like we thought they would, and it definitely gave us issues on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, the good part was we were always able to respond. Um, and the way we typically responded was on the outside with our deep passing game to Jackson Sternmoen and Tyson Grindy. And we got Carson Gerard involved a little bit. Um, I, I was really impressed with our pass pro on the O-line. Um, Cooper Olson, Brandon Yankee, Ty Clevin, uh, Carson Gerard, and Logan Brum. They did a good job in pass pro. We do need work in the run game. And that was that was pretty clear. You bring up Jackson Strinmoen. Uh, he had uh, probably one of the best nights of his career, six catches, 133 yards, a couple of touchdowns. What made it work for him last Friday? Well, he took advantage of a mismatch that he had. You know, he's a 6'4", uh, kid that can jump. You know, he's a kid that he can dunk off of two feet, and he's put a ton of time in uh, the last year and a half in the weight room, and it was just awesome to see that pay off because he's kind of your – prototype kid that um nose to the grindstone head down doesn't say a lot but friday night he he let his uh his actions do the talking and that was just a monster game i think the touchdown right before half um really swung things it's kind of that jump ball in that back corner of the end zone there and um just good for him to show up in those big situations and that'll be big for us moving forward and Elijah Solom at uh, quarterback uh, seemingly continues to mature week in and week out. Uh, we especially uh, mentioned on the broadcast, uh, there was a couple of situations like late in the first half where uh, you had the two bad snaps in a row. He ended up in a third and about uh, 25 situation, and he just brushes off uh, bad plays really well and uh, basically uh, moves on to the next one pretty quickly, and that's something I'd imagine you can't teach. Yeah, yeah. Um... I think, you know, you talk about coaches talk about the it factor. um, And that is one of those things where a guy is able to deal with adversity, move on to the next play, not think at all about that last negative play and just move forward. And like you said, that isn't something you can teach. You kind of either have that or you don't. You can work on the toughness aspect of that. um, But at the end of the day, if a kid just has that, it makes all the difference in the world. To have a quarterback um, that's displaying that characteristic right now is it's pretty fun to watch. So, You mentioned your passing game made the difference the other night, but uh, in the fourth quarter, you took over a possession with about eight minutes to go. You ended up not scoring on the drive, but you took about six and a half minutes off the clock through a run game. Uh, to be successful, you got to do things you're not comfortable doing. Was that a sign of a little bit of growth uh, for your team? Yeah, I think so. And, you know, I think <clears throat> the amount of time that our guys have put in in the off-season training in the weight room and stuff, maybe that showed up there a little bit in the fourth quarter where we were able to impose our will just a little bit more than we were uh, throughout the rest of the game. And I told them to start that drive, hey, let's burn the rest of this clock, punch it in, and finish this thing. We didn't quite punch it in. We were right there. But like you said, we changed the field position, um, got way down towards our goal line, and and then we made you know Mabel have to 
drive the length of the field um, in order to to win the game. So that was that was a good thing. That drive was definitely a, a positive thing to see. Grand Meadow uh, coming to town uh, this Friday night. Uh, they lost to uh, Lanesboro in week number one, but have had a couple of uh, nice wins after that. What's the main challenge they present? Well, Gary Sloan, again, another Hall of Fame coach. He always does a good job. His guys, his teams get better every single week. And so we know um, that they're going to come in. They look extremely fast and physical up front on both sides of the ball. They really fire off hard. Their D line stands out to me um, as being a strength. Their linebackers are very good. And then offensively, their quarterback is really athletic. They're kind of spreading things out a little more, uh, throwing it around a little bit, using his legs. Um, their running back is athletic as well. So it's a little bit <clears throat> different style compared to maybe what they played in the past. They were more of a power running team. Now they're kind of spreading it out and running it a little more. So it's going to come down to the trenches, just like most football games do. Uh, whoever plays better on the O&D line, uh, that's, that's who's going to win the ball game. All right, uh, Coach, uh, hopefully you can keep uh, the positive vibes going. Uh, keep getting back to health uh, day by day, uh, both on and off the field, and uh, we wish you success this Friday night. Best of luck to you. Thanks, Darren. As always, appreciate your coverage. Cody Moore is the head coach of the Spring Grove Lions. The 2-0 Lions take on 2-1 Grand Meadow this Friday night.